Hello my soccer universe, yes, I just did a, a review for uh, France uh, slash the Netherlands last week, but the Dutch Cup final was so eventful that I decided, yeah, let's go for that one uh, now as the first video, because it it was a really an amazing game that I just want to talk about uh, with a surprising result, but one that I think it may signify uh, things to change, you know. It's definitely the time of change uh, for those two giants of the Dutch game because both of them are most likely going to... I mean, uh, PSV already for sure and uh, Ajax, everyone is already saying that Ten Hag is going to Man 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 United. So, we will see new coaches and a new regime uh, up on those two. So, uh, there might be that this could be the change that everyone was looking uh, for or maybe not or maybe we get another tight title race and uh, PSV is catching up with Ajax which also would make it kind of interesting to watch these leagues. Um, we also had of course the big one in France so I think with those two and I actually had quite some focus on those two leagues with watching these two games or these two countries uh, that I think it's warranted to have this video. I'm wearing Monaco, uh, which is neither of these countries, of course, but they play in Ligue 1. And that's where I want to actually start in Ligue 1. Where Monaco had a pretty big win on Friday evening against Stadren, who took a very early lead, but Wanderson uh, shortly thereafter already got the equalizer in the second half, Ben Yeda and Boadou turned it around for uh, Mo 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 Monaco, and Ren only can put one back late through a penalty. But uh, this would have been, if Ren would have won this one, this would have really put them into top three territory. Uh, but that way, Monaco stays in contention for European spots, as we will see. Um, a remarkable win uh, also then on Saturday, I mean Saturday against Brest, uh, Brest kind of just about safe, where Saturday really need every point in the relegation battle, uh, that, 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 that was a huge win and then the big Northern Derby, Lens du Lille, uh, I want to say again uh, in many ways, which kind of pulled uh, Lens in, con you know, in touch with the, with the last few Euro European spots, whereas uh, Lille drifting away after the championship season, everything kind of is drifting away for, for, for them. Uh, nice stay up there with a 2-1 over Lorient. We had then uh, Nantes 1-1 and Troyes. Uh, one one against Strasbourg. So I mean, I always said the North and Strasbourg are teams that perform much better. Nah, it's kind of going sideways. Lyon, however, uh, that Europa League exit, they're angry. Six one over Bordeaux. Absolute thumping there. Absolute thumping, uh, which improves, of course, the goal difference. However, uh, you know, Lyon is kind of out of touch. They still could make it. I mean, it's still kind of tight if you look at the standings, but um, we have to see. PSG against Marseille was interesting in the sense that in the first half I think PSG should have taken a much clearer lead over Marseille. Uh, the first goal came through Neymar where a deep ball come, come, comes in and he, he just gets a touch with his foot before, uh, so it was a deep ball from Verratti and then um, just takes the ball over the goalie was was what was actually a nice goal and then they got going then uh got a little bit uh complacent marseille could actually uh come back for about 10 minutes uh in which they had two really dangerous corners where donnarumma did not look good at all and the Gillette tsar equalizer was one of those where uh if you look uh, if you look at it, he tries to catch a ball it, it fumbles and goes across the goal and Gillette tsar just gets his foot on it and puts it over the line. However, then PSG ratchet up a notch uh, and Messi has an offside goal uh, disallowed. He, I think he already had one before then. And then uh, huge penalty calls just in stoppage time with uh, a handball there. And yeah, it was a handball. And then you see ne Neymar, no, no, Mbappé. Yeah, you take it, Mbappé, 2 1. However, if you thought that PSG is not going to be emphatic, no, in the second half they were kind of hanging back, hanging back. Uh, I think they 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 scored another. Uh, did they score another offside goal? I know Marseille did did one for sure. Uh, but it was it, it was really weird. Yeah, uh, I think PSG also scored then another offside goal. But it was really weird because 
nothing was really happening anymore. Marseille had loads of possession, but PSG didn't kill off the game either. And uh, as I said, there was the oft, uh, uh, the late equalizer, which did not happen. And then it always seemed a little bit more likely PSG could, uh, with a counter make, make it 3-1. But yeah, it uh, was kind of a downer. Uh, there. So uh, from that we had then the table. Now it's 15 points between PSG and Marseille, which means if we have a midweek round, we look at it. If Marseille drop points there and PSG win, they are, cha they are, they are, they are champions. But if uh, PSG win uh, one of the next two two games and and so on, then uh, it will it will happen i think this week that psg are the new league uh champ champions much more interesting of course the battle for the champs league spot although marseille and start ren are kind of there uh but nice and strasbourg and monaco are in touch with those so it's kind of tough but i think marseille uh will probably be the second best team them and uh and start ren had the luck that marseille also uh lost uh, had, had also a loss lots of movements in midfield on the bottom, uh, Bordeaux with the 6-1 loss really looking now bad. Mets also going down. It is, I think, between saint and Clermont Foot who will go get in the play of spot. Although Lorient is still in there and I think Trois Angers could be dragged into uh, this battle as well. As I said, we have midweek rounds. Um, Let's look just the champion uh, PSG as Angers, which is kind of interesting because uh, Lille clinched the title there and then we have um, Marseille playing at home at Nord, which is not an easy game. Uh, also Strasbourg, Rennes, uh, kind of top duel, Monaco, Nice, also interesting. So there are a few interesting games in there and on the weekend. Uh, Marseille has to go to Reims and uh, PSG has a home game against Lens, which is not an easy one for sure. But I have a feeling that uh, come next week, we know that PSG are now for sure champions. Going to the Dutch Cup final. Boy, this was an interesting game and boy did this turn on slight margins. Ever so slight mar margins. PSV started out well and had a goal by... Um, uh, Israeli guy now his name doesn't come to me uh, puts it into in internet but it is called for offside again it didn't look like it at the and I mean you could have but it was just barely because the run uh, was in such a way that yeah that's a hobby of course, of course name that it was offside but uh, if the defender just doesn't move uh, just stands a little bit there it could have been one nil PSV but then Ajax really, um, after 15 minutes, Ajax kicked in the next uh, gear and got a really deserved goal by Ravenberg. Uh, I think uh, it, it was an intercept, they said move, and then a quick one, two class, and then goes back to Ravenberg, who from the outside takes a shot, and it's 1-0 Ajax. And Ajax then really, really, really had control, and you thought they had uh, taken the lead just before they have through Masrawi. At that point, I thought, yeah, 1-0, uh, look, look, but then Masrawi makes it 2-2 to 2-0, and it seemed like this was it. However, in the build-up, just I think the pass before Masravi, I think it was Tadic with where basically with a trailing leg offside. It didn't look like that. This is something that if you don't have VAR, you don't see that one. And it's also 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 one where you kind of question, yeah, what, weird offside. Let's put it that way. Big letter for PSV and they use this. And Gutierrez with his first goal of the entire season in any com com composition after Sangare corner. No, uh, like the corner in Sasa Sangare had it again. Uh, Gu 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 Gutierrez completely uh, lost by Blind. Heads, heads, heads in, makes an equalizer. And then just two minutes later, Hakbo with a long range shot makes it 2 1 PSV. Match completely turned on its head. Because at that point, Ajax was better, but they used the momentum after the half to go for Ajax, turn, turn around. However, then you thought Davy Klassen had equalized in the, 50, in, in the 57 to pull the game level, level again. However, again, a butt offside, more or less, by Tadic, again in the build-up. It was one way, just a little bit, the body part, it is 2-2. I think Tadish then hit even the post a little bit lay, later on from, from a, a tight angle. But then PSV also, when Ajax was pushing, PSV also hit the crossbar. There was not much between these two sides. I think PSV was by smidgen the luckier one. Because if that Masravi goal would have stood, 
I don't think PSV can come back, but they use this little smidgen of a chance and in a little bit uh, the Ajax defense being not sorted to turn the game, get the game around ahead and the luck, you know, with the, um, with the um, post and with this other offside that uh, Ajax didn't get an equalizer. And so PSV hold on and you could, could see how much it meant, meant for them, especially for uh, Coach Schmidt, who finally got over the big one. Because that, 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 that was one thing. I think he really got PSV out of the doldrums, uh, built the team. Now seemingly he's going to Benfica. Build, build up a, a, a pretty strong team that can still challenge for, for a title. I don't think they're as good as Ajax. But Ajax have been a little bit on a down, down, downturn ever since uh, winter, I have to say. And yeah, uh, you could see in the celebration this meant a whole lot because Ajax has been dominating a Dutch game and so uh, a little bit of a change uh, there, um, which I honestly answer that these PSVs have probably deserved to win a title for sure, despite me being always a little bit more on the Ajax side in the Eredivisie. Speaking of the Eredivisie, we had one makeup game where Sittard beats Sparta Rotterdam 3-0, compounding their troubles, but you know they have a makeup game that will happen now where they have to search just within the last few, few minutes uh, that the Pro probably will win. So even though the table at the moment doesn't look uh, pretty for Sparta or, or, or Rotam, give them three more points and they're out of trouble. It's more Swole and Willem Dwey that really, really, really look uh, bad at this point. And as I said, this uh, last few minutes will be played uh, now in midweek uh, and then uh, on the weekend. We also have, uh, let me see where, we also have uh, a, a full round in the Netherlands where I have to go to Breda and PSV have to go to come to compute to keep the title race close. Maybe uh, Ajax needs to trade trip up, but if Ajax do do the job, Ajax will become the new Dutch champions. So yeah, that's it from me. I don't know if I will do next uh, because we have a midweek round in Liga, but I, th I, I, I think I will take now two, 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 two weeks break from two, those two leagues to make the videos a little bit more worthwhile. Maybe if PSG win the title, I may change my mind, but let's see. In any case, I really uh, thought this was an enjoyable cup final in the Netherlands. I fully deserved it. And uh, I think this might be a significant win as well. And I actually teased it because I posted PSV uh, video, video. Maybe I jinxed IX this way. Who knows? In any case, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like these. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you actually might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and click that little bell. So in order to stay updated whenever something happens in my soccer universe. With that, have a good day.